Here's the conversational chatbot I built with Streamlit. I'm going to show you the power of Gemini 2.0 Flash and all of its multimodality. And we're going to walk through, I'll show you an example of all of the multimodalities and by directly engaging Gemini, asking questions, uh, loading a PDF file, asking questions about a PDF file, file. We'll load many PDFs and ask questions. We'll do something similar with an image file, audio file, and a video file. And when I say conversational chatbot, what I mean by that is that this app is designed to retain history. Basically, it's going to remember the prior prompts and responses, so it will have that context as well. All right, a couple of things. If you find the remainder of the video helpful, useful, and or interesting, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. I will appreciate that. Thank you. Second, as always, in the link, there's in the description, in the link, <laughs> that's funny, in the description, there's a link to the Python code that created this Streamlit app. It's yours. You can use it as is, so it generates exactly this thing or, you know, use, uh, use parts of it uh, or modify it for your use case. All right. Okay. I just want to quickly show you... Uh, and I'm going to leave a link uh, to this article in the description as well so that you can read up about Gemini 2.0. Basically, it's now generally available, uh, which was about a week and a half ago. It became generally available. Uh, prior to that, it was uh, in an experimental phase. And there's still an experimental model, Flash 2.0, available, which lets... Uh, it lets us play with the multimodal live API uh, that's part of Gemini 2.0, which is yet not generally available. And I've been playing around with it. And once it becomes generally available, I will do a video on that as well. So there's a whole lot of information about 2.0. Okay. The video is all about showing you all the different things we can do here. And uh, so we'll just ask, what is the capital of India? Similar to 1.5 Flash, 2.0 Flash also has a context window of 1 million tokens okay so you can there's a whole lot you can uh, include right a whole lot of files whether they're pdfs um, images etc because this uh, okay so now back to this uh, a little exercise here because this is a conversational chatbot remembers the prior history etc i'm going to ask a follow-up question here and say how far is it from Paris? And in this case, it should know it refers to New Delhi. And there, 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 that's the distance. What I'm doing here in the sidebar is I'm printing out uh, the token counts. Okay. So this way in the code, you guys will have the ability, you know, you, you, you will have the ability to track tokens if you so desire. If not, you can comment all of this stuff out. But I have put it in the code in case some of you are interested in counting tokens. Okay. Uh, let's try uh, loading a file, just one PDF here. Again, you could, oh, hold on, let me load this up. So I have two options here, loading just a PDF file or many PDFs. Honestly, you can take this part out of my code because this is designed so that whether you load one or 20, it will know that, okay? It'll know the difference. So in any case, I loaded this file. I'm gonna ask uh, what are the different models the author used. This is a research paper of mine. And uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now I'm going to ask a follow-up question. Uh, which perform the best? Because it's a conversational chatbot, once again, uh, it rem remembers the context. When I say which perform the best, I'm asking out of that list of all those models, models which did the best, and, and that's the correct answer. All right, so now let's go load, uh, try this guy. And all I'm, you know, if I were in the last scenario, when I had loaded the PDF, one PDF file, my research paper, and I asked two questions, and let's say I was done with it, and I wanted to uh, start a whole different conversation or load a different file, all this does is it clears, when you click this, clears the session basically the history all right so in this case let's load a couple of files uh these are two sequ sequential earnings call scripts from citibank uh, let's just ask uh concisely tell me what 
the two articles are about. And because the context window is so po uh, so big and this model is so powerful, there's no need to do any kind of reg. I, I've done a video and I'll leave a link in the description for you guys where I basically make the argument with this Gemini models with the context window and uh, the mixture of expert architectures that are using on top of transformer architecture and many other things, etc. They're darn powerful. No need for reg. You can load so many artic articles, PDFs, and ask away. You're not doing any retrieval uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> augmentation here. So, all right, no reg required. And this is exactly what it is. Uh, let's uh, clear this out and let's just go and load an image here. And uh, I don't know, let's load this. And I'm gonna ask it to describe the, describe the image in a concise manner. 2.0 flash is much better in being concise with its responses compared to 1.5. Nonetheless, I, you know, when I just want a short little answer, I'll just say that. But I have noticed it is much better being concise with its responses. Okay, there's the answer. Um, and I'm just showing you uh, all the capabilities. You know, you can load PDFs, you know, uh, you can load text files, etc. Most of us use PDFs, image files, audio files, video files, and you know, you can converse with those files. And then with an audio, um, here's a short little audio file that I have. Uh, Tran Describe the audio. All right, so that's exactly what it says. Is and then because it's conversational, it remembers the context because you know we're passing the prior prompts and responses. And I'm just going to say in Hindi, so yeah, it should know that I'm saying transcribe the uh, the audio in Hindi now. So there we go. Clear that up. Uh, last modality that I want to show you that we can that we can explore with 2.0. Um, and I'm gonna load this short little video. With videos, processing the videos does take a little bit longer than processing audio files, image files, PDFs, etc. Just gotta bear with that. And uh, here we go. Um, I'm just gonna ask, uh, eh, what is, uh, we'll say describe what happens in the video okay and dealing with videos just uh, this is tr this was true with 1.5 same here with 2.0 this this modality takes a little longer to process but uh still <laughs> uh, liquid that takes on a cloudy <laughs> oh my god it could have just said it's pouring a glass of beer, but anyway, it's true, technically correct. <laughs> All right, y'all, powerful model, no reg required, huge, uh, you know, context window similar to 1.5 a million tokens uh, it can take as an input, etc. All right, so I'm going to now go into just unpacking some of the code for those of you who are interested or are new to building Streamlit apps. Uh, so. If, if you don't want to do that, you can stop the video now. But hey, before you do that, again, consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video if you found this useful, helpful, and or interesting. All right, let me unpack the code for those of you who are interested. First thing is you're going to have to install this uh, SDK, okay? Uh, the Google's uh, Gen AI SDK, this library. And uh, if you have already installed it, I highly, highly urge you to update it because just in the last week and a half, they there are changes. So some of the syntax will not work if you don't update it, okay? Um, all right, and then with all the other apps that I've shown you and built and shared with you guys, same thing here, start with, you know, uh, the Google API key. And so if you don't have a Google API key, uh, there, there, will, there is a link in the description that tells you how to go get one, okay? But I'm assuming you, most of you already have it. We're going to, this is, we're using a 2.0 flash model. And uh, let me just start with uh, the first thing that we did, which was converse with Gemini 
And those of you not familiar with uh, in Streamlit uh, session state uh, at a very high level, session state helps us remember um, the variables or the values of the variables, or in this case, the the conversation. And that's all at a very high level. If you you know you can go you can Google it and learn the, all the technical elements of the session state. But in our case, uh, all we are doing is we are. And I'll show you how it how it's getting used. Okay, so we use the uh, Gemini uh, 2.0 Flash. We create a client, then we use the client to uh, create a chat. We pass the model ID, which is Flash 2.0, and in this case, I'm passing a systems instruction. You don't have to. Um, and then we take the prompt, uh, send that to the model, and get the response. And show the response here. And we also show. This is how you count the tokens, okay? Here's how the session state works. So I initiated the session state with just a blank. Um, you know, it was you know, just uh, with, uh, with a null, with blank. And then I took the prompt and added that to the session state message, okay, to that variable. And then when I got the response, I also added the response to the session state message variable. And so now, it in its uh, so it has the prompt and the response. So when I asked that follow-up question, you know, how far is it from Paris? It had the prior prompt and the response, so it knew what I was talking about. That's how it essentially works. Okay, so now with the PDF file, same thing. Uh, we're going to use the uh, Gen AI client that we created with the API key uh, to upload the file that we uh, that I had loaded up, uh, or as many as we load up. Uh, we pass that off, uh, pass that to the Gen AI client, and then what I did was uh, in here when I create the chat, I'm also passing a history, um, and in this case, I'm, I'm essentially taking the file and passing that off as a history, so it has that. Um, when I send the prompt uh, to the model, it also because I'm using this uh, using this ch chat too which is basically this uh, chat that I created here, which has the history. So it automatically takes the prompt and it has the PDF file, right? So essentially that's prompt is sent along with the PDF file. And the same thing, we're st uh, storing the prompt. And then when we get the response, we're storing the response in the session state message variable. And so that's why it can remember uh, the context of what you had asked pr uh, previously. The same thing with the uh, when you have more than one file, just follow this logic here. Blah blah blah. Actually, this is not required. I'll take it out uh, before you guys get to this file. You won't see this. This is not required. All right. Anyway, same thing we do with the image file, audio file, video file, etc. So this is the Streamlit app that the code created. It's yours. The code's yours. You can use it as is. Use parts of it modified for your use case, etc. I hope you found this video helpful, useful, and or interesting. For the third time I'm making the ask, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel and liking the video. Thank you so much. Until next time.